Okay, uh, for any of you that are curious about what's involved in permitting your solar installation, um, I wanted to just provide um, an overview of the process and uh, just share my experience and hopefully that will help somebody that may be interested in doing the same thing. First point is uh, it was much easier than I thought it was going to be. Um, the, and I've here just laid out the steps, the basic steps. Every city is going to be a little bit different, but this pro, there's probably 95% of this is going to be consistent city to city. So the first step is <clears throat> you go to your city, you pull out the uh, permit applications. you got to pull a building permit application and an electrical. You fill that out. Step two, you submit. Um, they want a plot plan, a single line wire diagram, and then just the manufacturer spec sheets for your panels, your inverter, your rail mounting system. Then, um, then the city will review it, and once they approve it, it took my city three days, um, and um, once they approved it, I just drove back down there, picked up the permit, began work. Once I completed my work, I called the city inspector to schedule a final inspection, and that was it. There was only one inspection, um, and that was at the end. Okay, so this is your step one in detail. Uh, pulled, um, I went to the city. Um, they give you their permit applications for their building permit and then their electrical. So here's their building permit application. Fill this out. Um, it's important to note when you describe the work um, that there's no modification to the roof required. Um, otherwise, it gets a little bit more involved. But... Um, we notated that, and then uh, let's go here. This is the page two of that application, and this is all owner installed. So you don't need a, um, at least in my city, a contractor, a licensed contractor, if you're doing it yourself. Here's the electrical permit um, application. It's really simple. This is just a one pager, uh, and we just indicate. I am uh, putting in 120 amp to, um, double pole breaker, and that will be back feeding 240 VAC into that one double pole 20 amp breaker um, and my main panel. And then that, is, and then and then they'll generate some receipts there when you fill these out and submit it. And that's their uh, receipt for the electrical permit. And you'll notice here our city doesn't charge us which is pretty great. They uh, waive all the permitting fees for solar installations as part of a, a solar initiative. And same with the permitting fees. And there's the receipt they give you. And that cost us nothing. Okay, and then step two, once you've uh, you filled out your permit applications, they want you to submit the plot plan, the, the single line wire diagram, and then the manufacturer spec sheet. The plot plan is the only thing you, and the wire diagram, the single line is about the only thing you need to actually do uh, on your own. In fact, I even pulled an old one, an old plot plan from a previous job on my house. I think they were doing my or deck or something. So I just took that and modified it. But basically, it's just a layout and dimensions of your property and uh, what you're doing, where you're installing it. So I'm indicating here. The proposed panel location, and I got a little blow up here. Doesn't have to be to scale, at least not in my city. And then they just want sort of a narrative uh, on the left side, type of house, the pitch roof, composite shingle, and basically a description of the job. Once you do that, you got to do the single line wire diagram. I actually found this on the internet and modified it for myself, but this is um, the single line wire diagram for um, the end phase. So basically just showing the panels, the 225 watt panels, uh, DC from the panel to the inverter, which is the micro, the end phase uh, M215s, that they, uh, that, that it's inverted to 240 VAC and that it, uh, terminates, uh, goes through a junction box on the roof and then terminates at the, uh, the double pole 20 amp breaker. Um, I also submitted, um, Enphase has a detailed wire diagram. 
So I figured there's no harm in submitting that, so I submitted the detailed wire diagram that Enphase provided. And then the spec sheets, the manufacturer spec sheets. So that's the Enphase, um, these are the Enphase spec sheets. And whoops. this is the Iron Ridge spec sheets. And this is all available on the manufacturer's website. I probably pulled more than I needed, but I, again, figure better be safe than sorry, so I submitted virtually everything I thought could apply. And then finally, uh, once you've submitted your permit applications and your plot plan and spec sheets, then uh, they review it. It took our city a few days um, to review and then approve. And then uh, I just went down and pulled the uh, actual permit card. Um, and uh, then you begin your work. There's no inspections until the very end. So they're not going to come out, at least not in my city, and inspect um, anything. They just do it at the end of the job. So um, once I finished the job, I called them up, scheduled the inspection. They came out. They approved it, and that was it. Um, just one last note about what they actually do when they come out. Um, and I got, you know, supposedly the, the harder guy. There's two guys that do inspections in my city, and one guy's a little bit easier than the other guy. But I got the harder guy, and I could tell you it was pretty, I mean, it was probably 10, 12 minutes, the entire inspection. He just goes out. Um, you know, looks at some things on the roof, um, you know, your panels. They don't scrutinize it in as much detail. I thought they were going to look at the weeb clips and everything. They really didn't get into that much detail. They're really concerned with um, the labeling, though. So you got to make sure you uh, appropriately label all of your um, conduits and, you know, the solar disconnects and all of that stuff. And that's basically the whole process. So hopefully um, this will help anyone out there that's considering going out and doing a permit uh, solar installation themselves. I had to do it. I had no choice because um, my meter doesn't spin backwards. It's the new digital type. So I had to get this so I get credit.